This is Countdown to Christmas, episode 8. Today I have a lot to do. And I'm sorry I didn't get to upload as much as I thought I would, but I was very sick. And I'm still kind of sick, but I'm going to try to vlog today for you guys. Yay! First time by myself. Brittany and I vlogged and it turned out okay, but this is the first time by myself. Today I have a ton of work to do. It is two days before Christmas and I have um, to, over the next few days I have eight pies to bake. Uh, three different types of cookies, three different types of brownies, and three different types of Rice Krispies treats, and a few more presents to wrap. So, I'm going to be busy. So, I don't know if this is going to be like a two-day um, vlog like where I vlog today on Christmas Eve or just today. I don't know. It depends on what happens, but come along with me and see what happens. I wanted to show you this is the cherry pie I will be making. Yes, it is a pre-bake, but I'm making a cherry pie and a, a pumpkin pie like this, and then I'm making homemade apple and homemade pecan. I'll show you what they look like when they get done. Well, the cherry pie is still cooking. It's taking forever for some reason, but um, it's getting done, and I'm fixing to start making pie crust. I thought I would show you how I made pie crust, but I can't set the camera up, so I can show you. So I'll just show you what it looks like when I'm done. Um, and the cherry pie got down and the pumpkin pie is in the oven now. So things are going good so far. This is what the pie dough looks like when you get done. I don't know if I told you before, but um, when we put the pumpkin pie in the oven, well, in a conventional oven, it um, kind of all froze to one side. Like all of the pie, the filling, went to one side. and But it's starting to look... Um, better now so I will show you when it gets done I'll show you what it looks like and right now I'm gonna put this pie crust in the refrigerator. Pumpkin pie and cherry pie is done. Next I have to do two apple and one two three four pecan um but one actually three pecan but one for me I'll explain that later but basically it's like pecan pie without the nuts because I can't have nuts but so basically four pecan and two apple left just finished making all the pie doughs and I made eight of them and it is almost midnight and I still have a lot to do. All these gifts, it looks like a lot because of the way they're piled up but it's honestly not have to go on um, in this little box right here. Um, we never put our presents underneath the tree until Christmas Eve because we have a lot of little kids here. And it just makes it easier for us. And we're also watching Full House. So now, um, this vlog will probably wind up being like a two part, like, you know, today and tomorrow because I'm so busy. Um, and I really haven't had a chance to vlog a lot. So it'll probably wind up being, um, like a two day vlog today and Christmas Eve. And then I'll upload it like Christmas Day, maybe. Um, so, but. It's been a very busy day, and um, but I got a lot accomplished, but I still have a lot left to do, so I better quit talking now, and get to it. All the gifts that were on the table are now in the box. Now we have to arrange that box, or bin, I should say. It's a big Rubbermaid bin, and it's full of gifts for nieces and nephews and grandkids. My mom and I, my mom and dad and I, buy them one gift a piece so that's two gifts per person and here's the finished product uh, we still have probably another six or so gifts to add to that box because this box is for nieces and nephews and grandkids like I said and that other box over there are for the people that are going to be here on Christmas morning um, so we still have a few left to add to each box. We definitely won't get them. We definitely won't get them all wrapped tonight, but we can at least make a dent in them, and I hope we can get them all done before Christmas. So, but right now I am kind of hungry because it's uh, 1:10 in the morning, and 
So I'm going to take a little break and get a little snack and pick back um, up. I just wrapped about five more gifts. And um, it's 3.35 in the morning right now. So I am really tired. I have a long day tomorrow. Um, I wrapped five gifts just now. Um, and that leaves my mom and I about 13 to wrap all together left. And if you've seen, as you've probably seen in the previous clip, we have wrapped a ton over the past few weeks. I mean, probably if you add it all up, about 100 gifts will be wrapped all together. So we have about 13 more to wrap tomorrow. And I have to bake uh, mm, six pies, three different kinds of cookies, a couple of dozens of each, uh, three different kinds of brownies and three different kinds of Rice Krispies treats, so I'm going to be busy as I'll get out tomorrow, and yeah, but you cannot see my face, um, but I'm going to be busy as I'll get out tomorrow, so, um, just pray for me that it gets done, um, because every year on Christmas Eve, we're literally up all night from the time I wake up Christmas Eve morning until, well, I don't even go to bed on Christmas, and usually neither does my mom, so, Let's hope that doesn't happen this year. But, yeah, I better get off here and quit talking and go take my medicine and go to bed because it's late. Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye! Hi, everybody. It is day two. And I've got a little bit more wrapping left to do. Probably one, two, three, four, five more gifts left to wrap. And um, then I can start baking endless amounts of food. All of the gifts are wrapped except for mine. And my mom's doing that now. Mom. Yeah. Hey, hi. Hi. Um... <laughs> So she's gonna go wrap mine now, and I'm gonna take a break and get something to eat. I'm eating Subway. I'm eating Subway um, with some Lay's Lightly Salted Chips because I have to be really careful what I eat. And on my sub, I usually get um, chicken breast, lettuce, cucumbers, American cheese, and a little bit of oil. No vinegar because I have to be very, very careful what I eat. Um, so I'm going to take a break and eat this. And then after that, I think all the, when my mom gets done wrapping mine, I think all the wrapping will be done. And Hi, everybody. I've finished eating and I'm starting baking at an insane hour, I might add. And um, I'm probably going to be up all night. But um, I'm making... Oh, oops. I'm making peanut butter cookies. And my mom, say hi mom. Say hi. My mom is helping me put the peanut butter cookies on the tray because I hurt my hand and I can't roll them out. Um, because I have a band-aid on my hand and I don't think band-aid peanut butter cookies would taste very good. Would they? No. Nope. Alright. Bye for now. Say bye. This is what bye. they look like before they go in. So I'm going to put them in the oven. 350 degrees and I will show you what they look like when this batch and the second batch Another gets done. Another marshmallow, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is bloody dang ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not showing your face, but this is so going on YouTube. I don't care if you show my face or not. This mess is ridiculous. <laughs> Give me back my toothpick before you eat it. <laughs> this is my brother fighting for the pan of Rice Krispies. Who's winning? The Rice Krispies! Yeah, the Rice Krispies are definitely winning. I'm pressing that one on Facebook. Hard time, how many rednecks does it take to make Rice Krispies without getting it stuck on the spoon? <laughs> I like to see you make Rice Krispies without getting it stuck I on have. the spoon. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. This is the this is the finished product, even though he's still pretty much fighting with it. Who won? I did. Here's the finished product of the peanut butter cookies. Yeah, Riker, you Some of them crumbled, but they still look pretty good. I wish I could eat them. Hey, everyone. Baking has come to a screeching halt because something cool just came on TV, and it's called The Secret of Santa. And I don't know who's out there watching, but if you haven't watched this, you need to because seriously, it's freaking. After seeing this. I will tell you, Santa is real. No question. Mom? Secret Santa. 
We have what appears oh to be. Oh my God, man! Yeah. 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 Do you agree with me? Here in Arizona, I do. Our own Christmas. Yeah. Wow! Oh it's my gosh, y'all! I'm. It's starting over. And there's my niece. She'll tell you. Man, it's freaking me out. This was the site that greeted the Lara family when they woke up this Christmas okay, morning. Much, okay, Their backyard, filled with snow, transformed into a winter a wonderland floor. populated by a dozen snowmen. The father of the family, Gabriel Lara. Okay, what you just heard, this family here. wished for snow and they live like where it hot all the time. It never snows. It was supposed to be hot. It was supposed to be hot. And they woke up and their yard was covered in snow and snowman. And this was just last year. If you are, haven't watched this, seriously, you need to. Ah, here's oatmeal raisin cookies with only six ingredients. And they are the best cookies ever, especially when they're warm. They're so good. <laughs> this is my oatmeal raisin cookies, and some of them got a little burnt, but it's not with me. most of them are pretty good. And these are my favorite cookies. Brittany and I made them for the first time when she come over, and I, that was in October, and I've made about three or four batches since then. And it's gonna be a long night because I still have a lot to do, so I gotta quit talking. Okay, so it's one o'clock in the morning. My mom is knocked out in the chair. She's tired. And I don't know if you can see him, but this little monster right here. Oh, he looked at me. Let's see. There it goes. This little monster right here. Hey, I see eyeballs. It's my Oyo. And it's two more days till his adoption anniversary and I'm so excited. I love you. Say hi Oyo. Okay, I'll leave you them. Gotta get back to work. Okay, um I just got done with the right uh with the uh chocolate chip cookies and I still have a lot left to do but my battery is dying so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Christmas tree in the background. Um <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and um, I just want to say I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Of course, by the time you see this, it'll already be Christmas, probably the day after. But, okay, I'll put it this way then. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And I wanted to tell you before my camera did die, um, after we were watching that show, The Secret Santa or whatever it was called, um, just for the fun of it, my niece and me went outside. And before we had went outside, it had been pitch black, no stars or nothing in the sky. And, um... And then we went out there and the sky was covered with stars. And I don't think it had anything to do with Santa Claus, but for me, it had to do with Jesus. Because today, I mean it's 2.30 in the morning, so I might as well say today, is to celebrate his birth. And I think that had a lot to do with him. And it just, it gave me chills to think of that. And then I'll come back inside and did some more work. We went back out maybe five or ten minutes later and then all the stars were gone. So I really got chills from that one. So, but I'm going to end the vlog here and I wish you a Merry Christmas. And depending on when this is uploaded, it might be uploaded later today or probably the day after Christmas. But Merry Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Santa Claus paid us a visit. Ho, ho, ho! Mm. And it's tradition every year to hide at least one present in the tree. And I can't get it close enough to show you because the presents are there, but uh, my niece says she'll show you. Okay, there's one right there. And then there's one right here. That's going to be the end of the vlog for the night because I'm really tired and I still have pies to bake. I decided not to make brownies because I can't find my brownie maker. <gasps> <All right. laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from our house, house to, to yours. yours. Oh my.